Good morning. It is a chilly morning. It's about four degrees. We uh, made it through Sault Ste. Marie and we missed the rest stop that we think we were trying to get to, Agawa something, uh, rest stop. And then we're only about less than an hour away from Wawa. And, uh, but we found this stop right here. And uh, it was, I think around 12, almost 12 midnight. And uh, driving these Canadian highways at nighttime is not really a wise idea uh, because of moose and other large critters that could be out on the road. So uh, as soon as we saw this little spot, we pulled in and there was like nobody here. Um, we could hear, like we had just finished going over a bridge and uh, we saw the entrance over here. And then when we pulled in, we saw that there's washrooms, picnic tables, and then some information here, probably some hikes and things. But uh, yeah, our first night in the van, was a success. It was very cold. The one thing we didn't show you yesterday that I should have showed you is, is how badly we packed the van. We just basically wanted to get everything in and because we don't have any cabinetry, everything's like kind of like on the floor. So got my bike in, strapped it to the wall. Uh, this is all my biking stuff. That's Carol's kayak, inflatable kayak. We got our chairs. That's my clothes. We got, um, this is just water for washing dishes and stuff. It's a huge ice yeah, block. Yeah, it's a bl ice block right no. now. Yeah. It's, uh, then we've got the heater just in case. It wasn't that uh, cold that we needed that. And then just suitcase after suitcase. I'm just gonna leave that open for now. We made the bed. Carol did some decorating and put some uh, butterflies and stuff up. Carol put also Ken and Carol on the roof. So it was really cool uh, getting into a big bed like that instead of sleeping on a cot like Rush, uh, in Rusty. So this is our setup. Carol found some curtains that she made. No, I didn't make them. Oh, you didn't make them? We bought them from where? Yeah, they were bought. Okay, oh, we, we, I don't know where. anyway, we bought these, uh, but I, I bought a tension rod shower curtain and then hung those on it. And so we, that was our privacy thing last night. Not that we needed privacy, but well, you know those trees. Yeah, those trees are very, uh, like, peeping toms. So I put up a couple clips up there, have hats, but they're for my cameras and lights and stuff when we need them. Uh, we brought the air fryer, got the cooler full of food, and that's plugged into the Blue Eddy. Uh, I, do, I did bring my two jackeries, so I got the big jackery over there. Carol had the small jackery plugged into her electric... Uh, what do you call it? It's like a little pad, a heat pad. A yeah. heat pad. So we do, we did bring the electric blanket and stuff, but we're trying to conserve our battery power as much as we can. Oh, my light doesn't, my light's not working. I think it's too cold. It does not like, it'll work for a minute and it'll shut off, right? Okay. So yeah, there's the bed all set up. <clears throat> Got our, Hiking sticks, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't want to work in the cold. Got all of our different shoes for all the different activities that we're going to do. Got the induction stove. That's the only drawer situation we have at the moment. We have our drinking water with a pump. And uh, that's pretty much it. So we're going to be driving Carol, knock this down with the electric blanket down to 75 or 78%. Nope. And then I'm going to plug that in to the van. So as we're driving, we can top that back up to 100%. There you go. It's went blue. And that will start to charge. It's charging at 70, uh, seven, uh, to 87 watts. So that's kind of cool. Kind of brought the binoculars. All right. So we're all good for battery power. All right, so that was our first night sleeping in the van. It was it was very comfy. Carol uh, said she can kind of feel the board underneath because it's only like a four inch mattress. And uh, so we might get like another 
like two inch mattress. She has like a memory foam four inch mattress at home that she uses when she goes camping and she puts that on her cot and um, she says it's super comfortable. So we're gonna either buy a queen size foam mattress, put that down and put this topper on top of that. Then it'll be even more comfy, but anyway. Next thing we need is to put a porta potty in here because uh, we're not gonna be um, honored with facilities like that everywhere we go. So uh, yeah, porta potty is on the schedule for purchasing. Carol's probably down by the river, so I'm gonna go hang out with her for a bit and then we uh, are gonna book it. Uh, again, we're just south of Wawa and we're hoping to make um, Winnipeg by tonight. It's gonna be a long drive. holiday Monday so a lot of things are closed today but usually Tim Hortons is open oh. yeah a little bit of a tight turn there but uh, we'll grab a coffee and then uh, get some gas and then continue moving on we went through some fog I saw a moose that was kind of cool Ooh, look at that nice sign. Hmm. and they got the hockey stick on the door In just a moment. Sure. There's Hello. Wait on eggs, that all right? Yeah, where do you want us to wait? We'll just put it in the front. Okay. okay. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Got the food. That's going to move my rig so it's out of people's way. Are you talking to me? I got breakfast. Yay! I went out hunting this morning. There you go, you can you can divvy up the rest. So our plan today is uh, we're gonna get gas first, obviously. Then we're going to uh, go to um, Thunder Bay. And in Thunder Bay, a bunch of people that either live in Thunder Bay or have traveled across Canada many times, say when you're in Thunder Bay, we gotta go to a place called Persian. I think it's, I'm not sure if it's Mr. Persian or the Persian, and they make this amazing, looking um, uh, pastry with this pink icing on it. And it looks like they pretty much only make that, maybe a couple other things, but that's like their main thing that they make there. So we're gonna make a video for you guys doing that. And then from there, we're gonna go to straight to uh, Winnipeg and meet um, uh, a couple families uh, that we, uh, uh, I guess my mom, my aunt, my uncle, and then my cousin, and her family so a couple families we want to reintroduce ourselves to we haven't seen them in a long time now and uh probably like i don't even remember the last time we saw them it was your other cousin's wedding in the fall that long ago no i thought they came anyway, anyway. it's just been a really long time since we've seen our, our our families from winnipeg winter peg as some people call it or mosquito peg that's another name um yeah then we'll sleep there tonight we'll mooch dock uh, which means we'll be probably sleeping in the van in the driveway uh, or they might uh, we might sleep in their house but we've got the bed and everything all made up in here so we'll see we'll see we'll see uh, and then Tuesday morning we're gonna get up and probably have breakfast with them and then uh, it's 
not as much pressure to now move on so we're going to go from winnipeg to regina regina to calgary and we won't have to travel as much per day i don't think i think you can do it in one 12 hour ride but we want to break it up because we don't want to get to calgary too quickly but we needed to get to winnipeg as early as we can tonight so i gotta stop talking i'm gonna start eating um and we'll see you uh, in thunder bay cheers Forty-five point nine. Gee, Willikers. I put in forty liters. It was a hundred bucks. Carol's trying to reach. Get all those bugs off. It's our. As long as you scrub it off, then I can use the windshield wipers to do the rest. Yeah. So we got 630 kilometers. We probably could have gone another 50 or more on that tank, but uh, again, I don't want to push it. So let's press that, reset. All right. Thanks Marathon for your gas. <laughs> pull over for a bit because there's just a beautiful beautiful shoreline over here we weren't sure if it was rock shoreline or uh, sand but uh, we thought we'd stop and take a little break came across a railway line didn't know didn't even know it was there look at that shoreline Beautiful. Yeah, it looked like sand when we we're coming down way up there. But as obviously we got closer. Beautiful rocks. Carol's turn? Sure. All right. We just looked it up and discovered that the Persian Man, the donut pastry place, is closed today because it's a holiday. So we'll have to hit it up on the way home because we phoned and nobody answered. So we're assuming it's, it's closed. Uh, maybe we'll call them one more time, but uh, we'll try and find maybe a food truck or something uh, that will be kind of fun to try and show you guys.
look out. Let's go check it out. It's a, it's a very nice, well kept look out up on a hill here and you can see Sleeping Giant which is behind us. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. As long as we both have space, we're good. Hey, nice van. So as a lot of you guys know, Terry Fox is a Canadian treasure who uh, lost his leg to cancer back in the 80s and uh, wanted to raise he wanted to raise his goal was to raise a million dollars he wanted one dollar from as many canadians as he could to raise money for cancer and this is as far as he made it from the east coast to almost to thunder bay uh the city of thunder bay which is just to our west but here is the monument that canada erected for terry So, sorry about the wind, but I'm trying with my iPhone so I can zoom in. So, I believe this over here is the head, the torso, and the legs. And uh, that's why they called it Sleeping Giant. And then there's a provincial park that uh, Carol, the kids, and I visited back in the early 2000s. And it's a beautiful park. I'd love to go back one day. This is one of my favorite pictures of Terry. Yeah with the old cop car and the uh, bubble gum machine on top, <laughs> making sure he had safe passage. And again here it's showing you, he started in St. John's, he dipped his foot in the water and then made it all the way across. Obviously he had to take a boat all the way along here through Quebec, past Toronto. Sudbury and then he made it to Thunder Bay. Way to go Terry. I, when we were in Newfoundland. Oh that's right. We saw the actual spot where he put his foot in the water. Yeah there's that's a right. monument there too. So that was really cool. Check out my uh, Newfoundland vlogs you'll see it. So the small jackery is all charged up. So I'm just gonna put that one out of the way for now. Uh, the Blue Eddy is down to 84%. Uh, Again, it's only powering the cooler at the moment, but I have another cable. So this one, this cable was for the Blue, uh, for the uh, Jackery. Can you grab that cable right there? I just can't reach it. So here's the cable, thank you. And we're lucky on this vehicle. We have one up here and another DC plug down here. All plugged in. I said we got another six or sorry four or five hours of driving so we'll uh might as well keep her topped up as best we can just plug it into there screw that on keeps it nice and tight once the car starts we're gonna have to put this sideways in here because it's uh only reaches so far but there we go we'll charge that back up to 100. we asked the young ladies in, in sorry, Sire, right <laughs> uh if the Persian was open today, so they actually made a couple of extra phone calls and uh, she's like, I'm going to find you a place that sells Persians because uh, the Persian man isn't the only one that sells them. They're the original, but uh, not the only one. But I know the people that asked us to do the Persian man, we are going to hold true and we'll have to do it on our way back uh, from BC when we're coming through um, uh, Thunder Bay again. Uh, but right now, Carol and I are like, well, Let's just get something to eat now, and so we're going to bring out the uh, the stove and the induction stove and cook up some chicken. A few of you guys also suggested using an air fryer, so we grabbed our air fryer from the house, and we're going to give it a shot right now. Impromptu food Impromptu. <laughs> Impromptu. We'll just use a small jackery for this one. Plug that in there. As soon as I hit go, uh, the jackery, the small jackery can't handle the power. So we will go for the blue eddy. 
all right so let's try it in the blue eddy this should be totally fine to deal with it plug that in go here ac on there we go okay hit air fry 50 minutes 380 fahrenheit sure i don't know i don't know So it's going. We're down to 81%. It'll heat up. It's not flashing with my eyes, but the camera can't handle it. Came up saying add food. Raw Perfect. meat. Thick. So. More. Paprika. More. Oh, chili. Not oh. paprika. Oh, it's chili. Interesting. I passed chili. You, I passed you the wrong one. This is some garlic. garlic. Let's just flippy, flippy. So we get seasoning on everything. We got a salt grinder, Himalayan pink salt. Yeah, all right. And there we go, and you can put pepper on yours afterwards. Afterwards. Okay, 15 minutes. Okay. And then hopefully it'll last just to turn it in seven and a half. Wow! Turn food. Wow! I was wondering. Wow, it's mm -hmm. amazing. Looks good. I like to actually like flip it both directions. Oh, really? Yeah. You never know. There might be a hot spot. Maybe. All done, so it says. We're going to have to uh, check it. Check it. Uh, we'll pull out a piece of chicken, cut it in half. See if it's still pink inside, which is what we don't want. I'll be right there. Yeah, one of those things I can't do one here. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. While we're waiting, we're down to 68%. But again, as soon as we start driving again, we'll jack that back up to 100. And we'll be good to go for the next food extravaganza. Oh, I think it's done because it's not. Not, Not too jiggly wiggly. Oh yeah, that's done. Whoops. That's Ken done for sure. That's the thickest piece too. Oh, this one's thicker here. It's done. Yep. Ooh, oh my gosh. That nice is and juicy. Good job. Yeah, you too. There you go. There you go. <laughs> you go. <laughs> I'm looking, I'm eyeballing it. Whoops. So we'll have to clean this when we get to Winnipeg. We'll use their well. facilities to clean. Ground some fresh black peppercorns onto it because I love pepper on my chicken. Carol doesn't like pepper. Too bad, so sad. Mmm. Mm. Not, <laughs> not dry or anything. Not even eating it yet. Oh, it's so good. Now you put the right amount of spices on it. I'm really glad that you, uh, out of that crushed Himalayan pink salt. Best salt ever. And look what we got for dessert. Berries! Mmm. And berries. More berries and berries. Oh. We had our bread this morning. When we had our breakfast at Tim Hortons. So, this is perfect. Yummy. Tastes like chicken. Nice. <laughs> Chicken's all done. Now it's fruit time. Mmm. Cold on the teeth. Woo. Mm. That's just how good your cooler's working. Yeah. That cooler is cold. Woo. We're going to eat some of this and then we're heading out. Thanks for lunch, Carol. Mmm. Woo. You're welcome. <laughs> Well, we just ate. Now the car needs to eat. But look at this, check this out. 2099 here in Thunder Bay.
Next stop, Winnipeg. Busted. Just kidding. We're at Tim Hortons. And of course, all the OPP dropped by. Carol's already in. Mm. Let's get out. We're in Dryden, Ontario. Uh, we've passed a time zone and uh, now we are on our way to Winnipeg, like you guys know. Oh, he's giving the the kid a coupon or something but uh yeah just walking around beautiful we're gonna be driving into the sun once again yesterday was hard but we've uh, cleaned the windshield so hopefully that will help a lot but if you've never been to dryden i think depending on the day right now it's windy uh dryden has a smell to it because there's a huge paper mill right in front of that truck way in the distance and uh the smell of the paper mulch or pulp is disgusting and there's a uh many times we've driven through here and a lot of times we stop at the um uh dairy queen and then you're eating your ice cream cone or whatever and you're smelling this pulp and it's like ah you gotta like get your ice cream and go get out of the town get out of the town <laughs> I wonder if these uh, police officers are going to catch up to us. I don't think so. Grab myself a coffee to keep me going because we have a little ways to go still. Let's see how much farther we got to go. Anyway, it should, said we should be there by around 10, so I need that extra coffee, the extra boost. Don't be holding the camera. I'm not holding the camera. I got to put my seatbelt on. Hold that for a second. Officers. Yeah, don't do it in front of the cops, man. <laughs> Hi, they all come running out. Yeah. High speed chase. Make this video crazy exciting. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, guys. A little more driving, and then we're done for the day. A little. A little more driving. Oops. Hit that button. Yeah. So it's 353 kilometers still to go. Long day, people. Long day. There's a 7-Eleven, but I'm pretty sure just around the corner, if I remember correctly, there should be a Dairy Queen. Right now, we're looks like we're behind a Domino's delivery car. Yep, there it is. Dairy Queen. Look at that lineup. People warned us about the flooding out in this area, and we are coming up to it right now. The water is over the road, and they're making us go slow. But this truck is waiting for a car coming this way, or a truck coming this way. There's a drought, eh? Pardon? So there's a drought, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Manitoba's feel the same thing. Like, like he says, you gotta put your rubber boots on there. Yeah. Or a fishing rod. Sh God, yeah. a bit of Sh ship it down to California. Yeah. See you guys. See ya. Oh boy. Here we go, people. Well, Our first off road. Go uh, we're gonna go slow. I just wanted to get. Stock, we're in the road, unless it's eroding. Wow. Oh, I can feel the drag. 
That's about a foot deep over the road, people. That's the first time I've ever done that. Oh, wow. Woo! Excitement! Yeah. Entering Manitoba. Awesome. Made it to Manitoba at 8.21 p.m. And uh, now we have about an hour and a bit to get to uh, Winnipeg. All right, guys, that's all we have for you today. Uh, we had an awesome uh, adventure uh, getting up in the freezing cold weather. And it, it was definitely around one degree this morning because we saw yeah. frost. Uh, my watch wasn't uh, hooked up to the internet yet. So woke up freezing, but had a great day. Cooked some food in the parking lot. Uh, I saw a moose, uh, a bald eagle, and a grouse, or a, um, what's the thing, a pheasant, zip across the highway, and uh, very exciting day. It was, we saw some deer as well, that's yeah. the Terry Fox monument. That's right, there's two deer. All right guys, thanks for all your support on this channel. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Uh, we won't probably shoot anything in Winnipeg, because uh, it's just family stuff, but uh, we'll start to videotape stuff leaving Winnipeg, and then we'll probably be staying in Regina for the night, so we'll make a whole day out of that. And